problem is the uh, metabolic rate. And this is the reason that the calories out, calories, uh, calories in, calories out model is completely incorrect because it all assumes that there's a single compartment for energy. So that's not the way the body works. It's not like all your calories, which is really just food energy, goes into a single compartment and everything comes out of that compartment. The issue is that there's actually two ways. If you have energy in, imagine yourself uh, as a power plant, right? Your body's like a power plant that's producing energy and you're putting in energy, you can either store it as fat or you can put energy in, say it's coal, and you can burn it off. Well, there's really two ways that this energy in goes. So it's not simply energy out, right? So everything, the calories in, calories out model kind of just assumes everything goes this way, but really it can either go as energy out or as fat stores. So what we hope happens is that as you reduce your energy in, you'll reduce your fat store. But again, that is only true if you're calories out or energy out stays constant, okay? So the calories in, calories out model assumes that your basal metabolic rate stays constant. So that's what we've known for the last 100 years does not happen. And that's why it doesn't work because what really happens is that as you reduce your energy in, your energy out goes down and your fat stores are completely unaffected.